Hello again, everyone. This is Game Collector here, and this week I have with me Ionix, Tenkai Knights, Tenkai Titan Valorn. Here's the box, and it actually says includes one weapon brick. Why it says that, I don't know, but it just does. And it's not even the white... Not even the right weapon. Sorry about that. And on the back it shows... Tributon and Hosts, or something. Something that never got a Titan mode, and of the Titans, these two are actually the most show accurate so far. But speaking of show accuracy, which is something I'm all for, um, I have Dromus now, and he has his show accurate head, which means he looks more accurate than Bravenwolf does. Although... The Phoenix forms, which are when they turn gold, are also show accurate now. So, hopefully there's going to be a series, too, with show accurate heads and such. Which means deluxe titans or elemental titans with show accurate looks. So, here's the instruction manual, which we won't exactly be following, to the letter anyway. We'll be doing most of it correctly, I guess because there are a few steps in here that are counterintuitive and make absolutely no sense. So, here's Valorn's Titan Brick. Just pop it open, fold the legs out, 90 degrees, fold out the head, the arms, split the feet, fold in the heels, and there he is, as is. He has ball-jointed hip, hinge knee, ball-jointed ankle, ball-jointed shoulder, and a hinge elbow, and that's about all the articulation you're going to get, unless you count that as articulation, but somehow I doubt it. So, there we go. Going to give him his feet and his knee pads and his uh, well, his feet so far and give him this because I need to show you why his knee pads will be getting some panel covers in just a few moments because this is the first step of where the instructions decide to be counterintuitive and completely useless His knees don't always feel his knees don't always feel like lining up. So these little flat panels right here are they tell you put them right here. This is where they go, and then you try putting the head on. And any sort of just the slightest touch to the head will cause the head will cause the helmet to go flying off. So yeah, these aren't these aren't really good there, so I move them down here, which actually makes the knee covers look way better. Who knew? Since the uh, cape panels are on there already, I might as well assemble the cape while I'm thinking about it. As soon as I get the knee cover back on, there! So. Here the, here's the first cape panel. Peg that in. Goes there. And there. Now, I will be assembling them... Well, when I say them, I mean him and... Tri uh, not Tributon, Bravenwolf into their uh, Titan fusion mode. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing at the end of the episode. And there's the cape. Now for the shield. Put the little yellow square right there. One, no, wait, yeah, there. Two, three, four. 
now again we're going to deviate from the instructions here it tells you to put it here which is good and all but we'll show you why it's not after we assemble the shoulders also we're deviating from the instructions by taking this off and putting it on the shoulders again and that'll be for the fusion mode later near the end of the video goes in there alternatively if you want to make him look like a space marine from Warhammer 40k you can move the shoulders up like so just one little tiny deviation not that it's necessary so put on chest piece which unlike Braven Wolf's is one solid piece instead of a piece with a little flat pointless panel on it and put these on here like come on there you go and there now as for the shield you can attach it like this but it will hinder his arm articulation so attach it vertically and raise it up one right there and there he can still bend his elbow and it won't get in the way of anything and since the cape was finished just attach that and now for the gun which should actually be a staff I don't know why they couldn't make this thing a staff and there now the Titan mode is finished and now we're gonna bring in Braven Wolf and make a whole bunch of parts go everywhere and again Braven Wolf is way less screen accurate than Valorn is so going to start by taking all the parts we just put on Valorn off and putting him halfway into brick mode and by taking all these parts off I mean actually trying to keep them mostly together mostly the cape will be slightly altered so it will fit on his Titan mode or on the Titan fusion and only part of the shield will go on the Titan fusion for specific reasons and I'm going to do it off state off camera because bending over is starting to hurt my back hurts my posture so we're going to you know use this as a cod piece take everything off except the head and chest and in Braven Wolf's case it's going to be the exact opposite take everything off except the knees and feet so you want to go like this you know what? we'll move Braven Wolf off camera for the time being you essentially want to put his lower half into brick mode it like so and there you have the first half finished mostly and with Braven Wolf take off his shoulders because those will be Valoran shoulders take off the sword for now because that will also go on Valoran shield chest definitely the head and the cape and yeah you're going to want to leave the heels extended out flat and then do 
like so with the arms. And now you pretty much just line these up and connect them, which I you you get the general idea right here, but I'm going to have to do it off camera because it's very tricky to do again in that bent posture that I have to take while recording. I really don't have that great of a setup. And I have to bend myself over to adjust everything. It's really, really uncomfortable. But enough of my complaining and stuff. Well, oh, come on. Okay, there we go. And we slip on the cod piece, which was shield. Again, have to do it off camera, but it worked. Pop on Brave and Wolf's shoulders. And now Valorne's cape, which will have to be slightly altered. Gun, sword, and there. This is pretty much what it would be in the show, except that they got the weapon wrong in the one hand. And look at all those leftover parts. Yeah, that is the biggest problem with the Titan Fusion, is that instead of using all the parts, it only uses about half of them. But considering three out of four times Brave and Wolf became the legs, this is how I'm going to do it until I get Tributon, who actually became Brave and Wolf's legs. And he's tilting backwards just a little bit. So, there he is Valorn and Titan Fusion Valorn. as soon as it goes like that. There.